Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Brew House Art Studio, Brew House Art Studio TV. And uh, this is going to be something a little bit different. Normally, I hop in here with tutorials and I do motion builder tutorials, and there will be some of that. But uh, what I really want to do is I want to do a project. And the project that I want to do is kind of a cinematic storytelling element. Uh, I have some motion capture that's been kind of sitting around. I captured a long time ago and I haven't really done anything with it. And I thought it would be a really fun project, but there were a few obstacles that I had to overcome uh, in order to be able to do this on Twitch and, um, and then push it to YouTube. So uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's kind of get started. Um, if you uh, haven't subscribed or if you haven't followed, go ahead and hit that follow or subscribe button. And, um, and I kind of will keep you posted on, uh, you know, with each one of these videos. Now there's going to be a lot going on here uh, in this series. I don't know exactly how many videos are I'm going to create. Uh, but I'll, let me kind of go over some of the stuff I'm going to be doing. I'm going to talk about acquiring assets, especially if you're the poor college student and you just don't have a lot of money because you're, you know, you're eating ramen noodles in your dorm room or, or whatever, sharing an apartment with like five other people. Uh, but acquiring assets, where can I get some free assets? Uh, rigging assets, retargeting assets to mocap. Uh, editing the motion, that's going to be probably the tutorial part of Motion Builder. Uh, and when e editing motion, I'm going to get into pushing poses and timing because that's going to be pretty key in all this. Uh, we're going to export this to a game engine, which is going to be Unreal, uh, as you can as you can kind of see right there. I'm going to be uh, pushing it to the Unreal engine. Uh, then I'm going to be uh, setting up a level with the props and we're going to do some camera placement, probably a little bit of FX and some lighting uh, and then hopefully render everything out into a movie. Uh, now some of the stuff I haven't done before because I'm not super familiar with the Unreal Engine and there's probably a lot of people out there who are m much better than I am at, at doing this sort of thing. So. Some of this is going to be a learning process for me as well, but I think it'll be kind of like a, a fun adventure uh, to go into. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to show you uh, what I've done so far and things that you you can all do at, at home as well. So <clears throat> uh, first things first, uh, if you don't have an account with uh, Unreal, uh, go ahead and get an account. It's it's free. Uh, get a get a username and all that and get logged in download the engine and, and then go to the marketplace because the marketplace has a lot of free content on it that's really really nice there are a lot of really talented people at epic have uh, really or epic has released a lot of uh, free content and uh, stuff that you can use for your own personal projects and what have you so uh, let's uh, let's dig in here. Let's look at f uh, free <laughs> free Epic Games content. There's a lot of stuff in here, uh, but let's go look at some of their stuff. So uh, I went through here and um, I tried to find some characters that fit what I am trying to to do. So I am I even logged in? <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm not even signed in. Uh, so what I did was I grabbed uh, this uh, twin blast guy. He's pretty cool. Let me zoom in on him. I think he's pretty awesome. And I think he kind of fits. Which one is it? this guy? This loadout right here is the one that I that I like. So I've got I've got him going. And uh, so what else do we have here? He's got all, all sorts of cool outfits and, and accessories. So he's free. Zero. Uh, I guess I should sign in and <laughs> you can see that he's free. Uh, so let's back out of there. What else did I grab? I grabbed, uh, where is it? Oh, I grabbed her. Uh, she's, a, she's another character I thought was really cool. 
so she has a couple of cool loadouts. I think this is the one right here that I'm going to be using right there. So Hey, how's it going? Glad to have you with us. So anyway, I'm, I've grabbed her. And uh, so what I did was I threw in my shopping cart. I downloaded her. It was absolutely free. Uh, I also grabbed some uh, props. I found a prop set with some boxes and stuff. It was free. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have to say, how am I going to get this content uh, into a, a DCC app like Motion Builder or Maya uh, in order to use this? So let's go to the next step. So that's acquiring assets. There's a ton of free assets out there. All right, so here is the Epic Games. And if you go to library, you'll see everything that you've downloaded uh, is here. And here's all my little tutorial projects uh, that I started with tutorials and stuff. Uh, so uh, my tutorial is going to be called The Heist, uh, and it's going to be a double cross. Like uh, there's these two, uh, you know, bad guys who have stolen some stuff and it's the end of the, the mission and they're going to there's going to be a payoff. But then one of them double crosses and kills kills the other one and uh, takes the loot and leaves. Uh, so that's kind of the, 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 the concept behind this. Uh, so that's why I call it the heist. So what we're going to need to do is we need to get some assets. So let's, uh, let's hop into a level or let's hop into a, a project actually. And this is going to open up the Unreal Editor. <laughs> so here's, here's just a level. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my characters. Oh, I guess I should have mentioned this as well. Uh, I guess I kind of jumping ahead of myself. Let me minimize this for a second. Bring back up the epic. Uh, let me go back to my library. And uh, you want to add these to your project. It's real simple. You just say add to project, pick the project you want to add it to and say click add project. And it will push all that free stuff that you've downloaded into your uh, into your project. Back to Unreal. All right, so now we're in Unreal and we need to drop in one of our characters. We're gonna do this with both characters. Luckily, I've already done a lot of the work, so this is kind of just showing you uh, what I figured out. So I'm gonna go look for my characters. I'm gonna grab this character, Twin Blast. He's a pretty cool guy. I'm gonna go find his. And by the way, if you don't know uh, Unreal, there's a ton of free videos out there that kind of teach you this interface and what everything does. So I'm not going to really get into that, uh, but I will get into uh, just kind of what I'm doing. So I'm going to go into Twin Blast. I'm going to look for meshes and I'm going to find his uh, his main mesh, which is this one right here. It's a skeletal mesh. I'm going to drag it into my scene. There he is. Uh, and then what I like to do is I like to go in and I want to zero this character out. So he's at world zero. And I don't know where he's at now because I don't know where world zero is. Oh, there he is. Uh, no lights on him, but that's okay. Not a big deal. So with him selected, what I can do is I can go file, export all, and uh, go pick a place where I'm going to save them out to. So let me go to my tutorials. And I'm just going to throw it in objects. I'm going to call this uh, TB for Twin Blast. It's going to save out an FBX for me. 
and you can pick uh, which version of FBX, FBX you want to save out as. Uh, I'm going to pick 2018. I'm actually in 2018. Uh, level of detail, vertex color, collision, morph targets, animation. There's a lot of stuff that you can actually export with this character. And I think I don't need collision. Or maybe I do need collision. I can't remember exactly. Um, I'll just export it all. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and click export. So now it's exported. So if I hop over to uh, Motion Builder, and by the way, I'm trying a new I'm trying a new thing out, right? So uh, normally I work in the editor mode with everything on one screen, but sometimes it gets really difficult. So I've got my Stream Deck, which I'm still learning how to use, uh, set up so I can hopefully hop over to my tools if I need to show something on my tools page, and then hop back over here, and I've got like I've got me in the video and like, me not in the video, so my Big heads not covering up important stuff. So anyway, I'm going to hop over here and I'm going to go and I'm going to say open. I'm going to navigate over to my tutorials, objects, twin blast, open that up, open. Oh, he's here with all the the whole scene. Look, it, I actually grabbed the whole scene. <laughs> uh, let's see how, if I can fix. Let's see if I can do that a little bit better, All right? So let me let me hop back over to uh, the Unreal. Did <laughs> did Unreal crash on me? That's odd. Let's try that again. One more time, one more time. Failure is not an option. Okay, so let me go grab Mr. Twin Blast. Or maybe I'll do her. So we can see what she looks like. Characters, maps, see heroes, meshes. I'm looking for her uh, scale mesh. I'm gonna drag and drop her in here. Oh, I dragged two over in here. Let's delete that. Let's zero her out. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's let me do a little bit better job this time. All right, got her selected. File export selected. See, I, that's that's where I messed up. I hit export all. Let me export selected. What was her name? Belka, B-E-L-I-C-A. That was her name. All right. I don't need her LODs, her level of detail. I can actually get rid of that. And export. Okay, so I, while I got all of him, let me go and open up her. There she is. Let's open that up. Don't save open and here she is all right so here's my character Ta -da! and as you can see she has zero textures on her so let me show you how to get textures out of unreal sorta <laughs> so um these are uh let me go back to that uh these are paragon characters and these paragon characters are kind of like locked down so with these characters, you can't really get these textures out. And the textures that they're using uses a uh, special render method uh, in games. Uh, some, uh, I think it's called PBR rendering. And so these textures aren't actually on there. There's normal maps, but there's no textures. Uh, so for example, if I come in here and I grab a crate from my uh, 
construction. So meshes. Here's a crab. I'm just going to pull a, uh, a prop in here and let it think. Zero that out. There it is. So there's there's my prop. So if I exported this and I wanted that texture, I could go to textures. And find the texture that I'm looking for. Let's say it's this texture right here, this box. Uh, I could open that up. And you can see here's the texture right there. Uh, what I can do is I can come over here and I can right click on this and I could say uh, Asset Actions and I could say Export and it will let me export a TGA of that texture. And then because the normal maps, or not normal maps, I'm sorry, because there's a UV texture mapping done to that object, you'll be able to map that on pretty easily. But with, the, with these characters, uh, the Paragon, characters you can't really do that so here's my hacky workaround because it's a lot nicer to animate with a textured character than it is an untextured character so uh, let me go to let me show you my tricky hack so I'm gonna go to my character that I exported I'm gonna find her textures There they are. My my uh, <laughs> my my uh, project project is not the most organized. All right, so now we have all these textures. Um, well, I I've got the skin texture right here. If I double click on that, uh, you can see here it is. So what I'll do if there's a normal map, I go to view. I'll say uh, I'll uncheck alpha, and that will put it here. Uh, like so, I'll then use my snippet tool and I'll just snip it like that. And then I will save it and I'll put it in my textures folder, which you can see I've already snipped out a bunch of these textures and I put them in here. And I'll, I won't do the the diffuse texture because the diffuse texture is not uh, what you would think of. It's not like that box we just looked at. Uh, so then I go into Photoshop. I just make sure it's cropped correctly. And then it's time to get into Motion Builder and it's time to add textures to this thing. So, so for this part, I think I will go ahead and I'll hop over to my editing layout. Uh, just so you can see what I'm doing all in one screen. And I'm going to go to my materials. You can see the materials are all there. Oh, I guess I should uh, mention this. So if I go here and I try to right click and say As Asset Actions, it doesn't give you the export option. That's, I guess that's what I was getting at. Uh, they've got, like again, they got, like I said, they got this character locked down. Even in Motion Builder, it's locked down. You can't just delete things. It's crazy. I've never experienced an FBX like this. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go select the textures. You can do that under properties if you want. You can double click on here and, and add it through here. I usually add it through properties. So I'm going to just add a diffuse. This is her upper body. Oh, which I haven't loaded any textures in here yet. So you go to video, you right click on video and you say insert video and then you can select all the different textures that you want. And I named them so that it makes sense. Oh, don't need those. I think that's all she has. So let's open that up. 
So I've imported those videos. Those videos are now there. They've also created textures. Textures are right there. So now when I go into her upper body, let me expand this a little bit, like so. I can go to my diffuse. I can add it right here. Say, where's this upper body? Upper body. And I've added that to her upper body. You can see it's added a little plus here and it's right there, upper body. You can't see anything just yet. Let me go over here and let me fix this, right? Zoom in on her. All right, so let me slide that all the way to white. There we go. Now you can actually see she's got a texture on her. Now what I did was I took the normal map and I went into Photoshop and I just grayscaled it, um, switched it from all the blues uh, and nor typical normal mapping colors. And I basically turned the normal map into a diffuse map. And that was just a way for me to uh, have something nicer to work with than, um, uh, than your, uh, you know, working with, with no, no textures at all. Hey, Trabdar, how's it going? Happy to have you with us. I hope things are going well for you. All right, where was I at? Erg, why can I not scale this? There we go. And I did it again. <laughs> Jesus, what am I doing? All right, so. So anyways, I'm gonna go through this character and just for my own personal sake, I you can you don't have to do textures, but I just like putting textures on. So let's let's hop over to uh, my final character. Now I have whole tutorials on how to characterize and, and get everything done for these characters. So let's let's fast forward and go to this character rigged. What did I call this? Was it this? No. Oh, I put them up in characters. The <laughs> characters. Here we go. All right. So here's my character. Much nicer. I made sure she had some skin texture on her. On her, I threw her hair texture on there because, like I said, everything has normal maps. Or I'm sorry, UVs. Everything has UVs. So everything uh mapped pretty good and like i said i just did an old hacky copy paste because i really want to know the direction of fingers and i want to know the direction of knees and other things um i got her weapons her weapons are here now on the actual character her pistol is flipped around the other way she does this kind of weird cross draw from her thigh <laughs> which is odd to me but my character actually has her pistol on her left leg so that's where I've got that so once this character is done and you've saved it out and I've done the other character as well so let me open up him real fast twin blast so you can see him Here's Twin Blast. I don't have any lights or, or ground on him, but I have him ready to go. And he has two guns. I'm like, man, where does this guy keep his guns? He doesn't have any holsters. And when I look at the animations in game, it turns out I think they scale these weapons so they have a zero scale on them. So uh, if you don't want these guns, uh, you can put a zero scale on the joint and it'll disappear essentially. Hey, Pink Werewolf, how's it going? Glad you could drop in. All right, so anyway, so now we need to get these characters back into the game, right? Uh, with with animation. Well, they're already there. So uh, what I did was I'm gonna, I put a range of motion on the character and I exported the, anim the FBX and I've gone back into Unreal. 
And by the way, if I'm <laughs> nerf guns, <laughs> uh, if I'm if I'm skipping something and you are like, hey, wait, back up, explain that, please say that. And I'm kind of I'm gonna try to keep an eye on uh, I'm gonna try to keep an eye on my little chat over here, chat window. So you like this, I can make myself appear and disappear. So <laughs> my head's not in the way of things. Here we go. Uh, all right, so let's let's get my guy in here. See, I created a new scene, so I don't think I have any animations on here yet for him. So you're gonna get to see me put an animation on here. So I'm gonna go to animation. I've created a twin blast folder. Oh, the ROM is in here. <laughs> so the ROM is right there. I kept my ROM. That's nice. So let's let's get a character in here and let's get an animation on this is basically what I'm doing is I'm testing the pipeline it's like I downloaded the free asset I got it rigged up and set up in motion builder which you kind of brief summary overview of and now I'm going to get this back into game so uh, how should I do this all right so I'm gonna go to my character twin blast I yeah he's, that's her so let me go to twin blast it's an interesting name for a character. So, Twin Blast, character, heroes, uh, meshes. Just put him right there. Uh, you can hit G, G will hide all the, the fun game, game stuff. It's like really shiny in here, isn't he? All right, and I think I, do I still have my cinematics? I do have my cinematics in here. So I wonder if I can apply my cinematics to him. Uh, all right, so over here is my cinematics. And I've got my clip, but he's not connected. So I think all I have to do is select him here, come back over to my sequencer, and assign actor, I assign selected, and he disappears because I have transforms on him, right? Do I? Oh, he's way over there. <laughs> I see him. All right, let's get him back into place. All right, so I'm going to zero him out. Just put some over here. Move him into place. Oh, he's got scale on him, too. Ha! <laughs> let's make him back down to size and I'm going to so there we go I got him in place I'm going to set a key so you can see I set a key right there now he's in place. And he's sliding around. Why is he sliding around? Let's, let's pull this over here. Actually, let's, let's dock this. Right there. There we go. because there's keys right here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete those keys check out that animation He 
keeps going way off over here. Fumble, fumble, fumble. I'm fumbling. <laughs> it's huge. There we go. Back down to size. Put him back in our room. <laughs> <laughs> and set a key there we go oh man so let's play this rom now and here we go here's here's the rom these lights are really bad i wonder if i need to rebuild the lights and everything look how blown out he is <laughs> Yeah, way better than Lumberyard. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I am. Uh, I'm really happy. I'm using Unreal now for my, for my job. I'm not doing this kind of stuff, but uh, like cinematic stuff. I'm I'm creating assets for cinemats, but I, I'm not actually the one putting cinematics in game. So this is, like I said, this is kind of a <laughs> learning experience for me. You can help. Well, if you have any advice or tips. I am all ears. So it have a so sad thing I'm gonna try building. Let's see let's see build some lights here. Build light high. Let's do medium quality. Build lights only. So it's I'm starting the build process of lights, and you can see it's calculating over here. So I'm going to have to say not too bad getting that range of motion on the character. Not bad at all. Of course, now I've got a lot of frame rate issue. So uh, <laughs> because I'm building lights. Light build complete. Sweet. He still looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Yeah. I'll put him over here. Okay, so I set keys to kind of keep them over here. So I'm one of the things I'm trying to do. Uh, so you may be good to get back to the lighting is always fun when you unreal yeah it sure is fun lighting is fun when you get a chance to do it um so one of the things i, I want to do is i want to oh shoot what i do i did something <laughs> there we go uh one of the things i want to do is i want to figure out where i want this scene to take place and i've got this little area right here but I don't know if I'm super happy with it. It kind of fits the sci-fi genre I'm looking for, but I don't know. So right now we are, we're like location scouts. We're like <laughs> going to figure out where we want to, we want to, we, where we want to put our animation. You can pro I think you can see, uh, get back out of here. I think you can see the jitter on the guns. And it's because I constrained those guns to the legs inside the animation and there's compression uh, on the joints and which causes little offsets. So those joints are technically parented to his hands, right? Left gun for left hand, right gun for right hand. But I constrained them using a constraint and baked them down so that they're slowed down my camera movement. Here we go. Uh, so I baked them so that uh, they follow along with them. All right, so what's next?
let's uh, let's talk about location. Maybe one of y'all could give me an idea on location. So let me head back over to my content browser, and I'm going to go ahead and save this sequence effect. I'm going to just save all, save everything in that level, just in case. All right. So I have this location. I have. Soul City. I'll load that up real fast and we can check it out. Oh, wait, that's the overview. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. Wrong, wrong level. <laughs> Here we go. Here he is again, right? <laughs> so here's this city. It's kind of like a cyberpunk kind of a city, which is kind of cool, but it's really dark and there's really not a lot of room. I was hoping this would be like a good place to stick the characters, but I just I just can't find a spot on this map. But I don't know, maybe down here I could throw some lighting in or something. Let me let me back out of the city so we can kind of see it from a distance. Pretty cool though, huh? Yeah, the uh, end result is going to be seen through a cinematic. So uh, at least that's the goal, right? So right now we are like location scouting, uh, free maps, like free things that I can download because I really, I really don't want to have to go in and build a level. This level is kind of cool. Let's go check out another level. Uh, this this one I thought was kind of cool. Uh, Soul Cave. By the way, the, like I said, all these maps are free on the Unreal Marketplace. So this place is pretty cool. Let's look around here. I mean, they could be uh, pulling this heist in a cave, right? That'd be kind of neat. We'll just pick kind of an interesting corner. This has some good lighting. Easy to see the characters. It doesn't have a lot of rain. So I was like flying around this level and I found something that was kind of neat. So I, I was like... Just, just exploring. I'd never been in this map before today. And I started like going through this little cave here, <laughs> and I come across this like little boarded up area. I kind of like peek through. I came over here, and then I ended up here. And I'm like, this feels a lot like that Soul City that I was just in. It almost feels like these two worlds connect. Anyways, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but anyways, back back to the level. So there's this level. So we got Soul City, we got this Soul Cave, and we have that... Uh, sci-fi hallway looking thing so uh, those are kind of like the three environments I have right now where we can put this we don't have to decide right now just keeping we're keeping these in the back of our minds for for this uh, all right so I think we're done with unreal for now let's hop over to motion builder and let's look at some of the motion capture content that I have Maybe pilot a cinematic camera for a frame reference helps with 
the auto exposure, the under floor doesn't does to the lighting. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Absolutely. Oh yeah, by the way, I haven't tried dropping these characters into that soul cave yet. Uh, but when I dropped them into Soul City, they're like itty bitty tiny little characters. Like li they look like little children <laughs> or smaller, small, small toddlers. And uh, so I had to scale them way up. So when I pulled him into that sci-fi level, which is actually to scale with these characters, uh, that's why he was big. So I have a feeling uh, whatever I do, if I drop them into those levels, I'll have to scale all my assets up. All right, so here we are. Here's my motion. And here's the range of motion that I captured. Uh, I was in the process of actually retargeting uh, to this motion. And I guess now is a good time to kind of talk about what I want to achieve in the motion capture portion of this, uh, this project. Let me, uh, let me hop over here. And I'll, I, I guess what I'll do is I'll kind of start this from the beginning. Um, so what I wanted, what I want to show is I want to show how to take two characters that are slightly different sizes in game and two actors that we captured on stage who are vastly different in size and how do we make them work together um how how do you get characters to interact in several different ways and and working game uh with minimal 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 effort so um we have three types of contact here let me go over to it. Now I don't I've, I don't have a lot of things set up in this, so you're gonna have to use your imagination. There, these uh, these red markers are actually props. It's this gonna be that crate. So the first interaction are these two characters coming through, and they're gonna pick up a prop, and they're gonna move the prop, and that's the first interaction. And then the second interaction, the second interaction is going to be her tossing a prop to him and him catching it. Third is them actually making physical contact with each other. She shoots him and she comes over and takes the loot and then finishes him off. So there's a lot of things that are going to have to happen here. You're going to have to do correct uh, retargeting to your character. You're going to have to make sure all the scales are consistent. Um, there are little tricks you can do with props, uh, like just scaling the top note of a prop can help get it from her hand into her hand into his hand. Um, there's going to be timing. We're going to have to figure out uh, like when she shoots him and and those sorts of thing timing. Because you can see she's she fires. Boom. And then there's a reaction and we need to make that a little more, a uh, little closer to it together. Same with probably this uh, initial shot. I don't know, that's pretty close though. So anyway, let me let me put that on on loop. Uh, I'm gonna show how to rig a prop uh, and make it uh, work uh, with the motion capture data and get these characters to to interact with it correctly. Uh, there's a lot of things that are not gonna happen tonight. <laughs> I kind of got kind of got a late start tonight, but there's gonna be a lot of lot of things uh, that will be happening. And I'm actually gonna take my time. Normally when I do a tutorial, I'm really fast and I'm just like, here's how you do it. And I'm in, I'm out in about an hour. 
But when I when it comes time to actually motion editing this and timing and all that, I'm gonna actually take my time and I'm actually gonna try to do a good job. But I'm not expecting it to take very long. I would probably give myself probably eight hours to No, I don't think I do 16 hours. I think I do probably about eight hours on this. Yeah, she kills him. So so this is called the I'm calling this the heist and there's going to be a double cross, right? So uh, what happens is uh, they're finishing. They're finishing the heist, right? This is all all this beginning stuff's going to get cut out. And I'm going to I don't know. I, I know some people who are voice actors. I'm probably going to see if I can get them to, to do some dialogue for me. Um, but uh, it's going to start right about here and they're going to be like alright we're almost done with this yeah we're going to move the crate over here set it down <laughs> or something more clever <laughs> what I'm saying right now whew that was tough and she's like yeah good job hey by the way here's your payment he's like thanks I got payment Good work doing business with you. And she'll boom, shoots him to the side. Bomb, shoots him again. And then she comes in and swipes that prop and boom. Offs him. And then she walks off with both loot that they stole and the money that she was going to pay him for helping her with the job. So anyways, that's the concept. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, initial setup real fast. I think that's something I can cover tonight pretty well. Uh, so when I capture a ROM, <clears throat> one of the things I like to do is I like to include any known props in my ROM. Uh, so in this case, we markered a crate, we markered a pistol, and we markered a little prop right here that is, uh, you know, money. And in this case, it's coffee, brew house, art studio, coffee, 50 kilograms is a heavy brick of coffee. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, so I have everything marked and what happens is when it comes time to process the data, I can do both characters at one time. I can get these prop markers in here. I can do all my scaling to make sure everything is correctly scaled um, let me show you what this scale is actually so that's the actual scale scale of the motion capture you can see the size difference between uh, what was captured and what we have to go to to kind of get him close now he's really close but she's still really short and I've got to figure out how to get them to work together. Now, like I said, if you go to my YouTube channel, I have uh, I have an entire tutorial on how to characterize and retarget motion capture. If you really want a tutorial on that, please go to my YouTube. There's a link in under my video on Twitch. You can click on that and browse through all my videos and I'll have uh, you know motion targeting and motion capture retargeting uh, tutorials uh, what I'm going to concentrate here though is I'm going to definitely concentrate on um, problem solving and what have you Yeah, see what time is it? It's uh, 10, about 10.30 my time. What can I get done? What can I get? What else would you all like to know tonight before I end my little broadcast? I'll also review everything that I did to, to right now. So while you guys think of any questions, I'll let me let me review kind of what we did. So um, 
The goals are to acquire assets, rig the assets, retarget to mocap, edit the motion. We're going to concentrate when it comes to retargeting and editing or editing motion. We're going to concentrate on a, like a more tutorial aspect of pushing poses and timing. Uh, then we're going to export to game. We're going to set up in a level, probably at first a test level uh, with props which by props i mean in this case it's the uh this box right here and that little bag of loot on her hip um then we're gonna do camera placement we're gonna figure out what shots we want we're gonna talk uh cinematography line of action do's and don'ts framing your shot establishing a shot you know basics uh I have never done FX in uh, Unreal, but I'm going to grab some pre-done effects for like muzzle flash, and get that in there and potentially lighting if the lighting is not quite right for what we're trying to do. Then we're going to take all that and we're going to render it out as a cinematic. Um, <clears throat> And while you do, while you guys think, I will. I'm gonna have to think about a few things. I am going to. I think I'm gonna create a rig. Let's see. I know people are gonna go back on YouTube and watch this video. I'm gonna be driving them crazy right now by <laughs> not talking about anything. Like, get on with it already. All right. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab a marker. I'm going to drag it over into my, my scene, which is right here. There it is. Itty bitty marker. I'm going to line it. With this and put it kind of right in the middle then I'm going to go into my marker settings and properties yeah push this around a little bit I'm gonna scale it up here That's it. So when I come back over here you can see once I kind of get it to the right scale there it is, it's, it's getting there. I, uh, I always do scale inside of uh, the uh, properties uh, first. And if I don't have to actually do a manual scale, I won't do the manual scale. Yes, I would do all the camera animation inside of Unreal 4. Absolutely. I, I want to learn it. Uh, they have some really cool tools in there. Um, they have some uh, traditional, tradi traditional, oh, where's my camera? Yeah, traditional uh, camera things like uh, they have a boot, uh, like a boom, camera boom. They have a, a truck uh, and they have some really cool stuff uh, that I'd like to get in there and play with. So um, you could set something up outside of uh, Unreal, like maybe a couple of joints and attach a camera to it. But um, my preference is not to do it that way. Um, at least not, not right, not for this project anyway. All right, so this uh, marker is the beginning of a control rig. So all I do is drag in a marker, it's which is a box, stick it in here, scale it up to a good size in properties, and then finish scaling it to kind of fit this.
Then I'm gonna grab probably a couple more markers and we create hand attachments for it. I've actually already started it here in the pistol. I've got a hand attachment here in the pistol. Uh, so I got a hand attachment right here uh, for that. But um, I think I'm generally jumping the gun. <laughs> All right, well, I think I'm done for tonight. I'm gonna quickly recap. So, first things first, I uh, acquire assets. You can go to, you can get free assets in the Unreal Marketplace. Some really nice ones, really talented artists. Uh, set these up. Download them for free. You can pull them into uh, Motion Builder because they save out as, or you import them into the engine, duh. Import them into the engine, export them from the engine as an FBX. So file, it'd be export selected. And then, you know, export it somewhere. Pull it into the engine or pull it into into motion builder or, or whatever package you're using uh rig it because these are unrigged characters and uh apply your animation <laughs> and i think i'm done for the night uh, if you guys have any questions um Feel free to hit me up. Uh, you can uh, link into my Discord uh, and ask me questions there. You can, uh, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel and ask me questions through that. Uh, I've got a little comments down below if you have any comments. So uh, anyway, I hope this was informative to people. Uh, I know this has come up a lot on how to do some of this stuff and as I transition over to my nifty splash screen I will catch you all next time with my next installment of the heist and I will be going over a lot of other things I'm gonna redo this uh, retargeting from scratch good night everybody